All right, guys, so we are starting out with about a stick and a half of butter. We are making a sauce. So we got some Wish your Sister sauce or Worcestershire. And I'll probably add about a tablespoon. Then I got some of my favorite roasted garlic sauce. The dog start, decided to start playing as soon as we started making this video today. So that's what they showing y'all. Oh, if we can get this roasted garlic out of here. And I'm going to add a generous portion to that. Then I'm going to add some ginger paste. I love this stuff, guys. It is so good. Probably going to add about a tablespoon. And all of this can be adjusted for how much uh, meat you're making. So the next thing is some Tony's. It ain't right without the Tony's, baby. Mm -hmm. Tony chicharrones. <laughs> All right, then I'm going to add some onion powder. And y'all just got to follow me today. Y'all just got to follow me and trust me. <clears throat> then I got my favorite. Ooh, if I can find the front. <clears throat> That's so good. I know. That cracked garlic and pepper is delicious. <clears throat> That's now becoming a staple. <laughs> yep. I'm going to have to find some more. Then I'm going to add some. Then I'm going to add some smoked paprika. And I'm going to be generous with this smoked paprika because it adds just so much life. Then I'm going to add just a dash of cayenne pepper. That was a little bit more than a dash, but y'all trust me. Then I'm going to add a little bit of thyme. And y'all are getting exposed to a secret today. Then I'm going to add a tablespoonful of sugar. And we are going to give this a good mix here. I wish y'all could get a, a whiff of that. There we go. Look at that, y'all. Oh, yes. All right. So I got some lamb uh, shoulder here. And we are just going to pour that right on top of that lamb shoulder. And we're going to let this marinate in here. We want to get all that goodness because all that goodness is down at the bottom. So we're going to let that get everywhere. And we're probably going to let this marinate for about an hour or so. And then I'm going to put... Put this in a hot skillet because y'all are in for a treat today. So I'm going to see y'all after the marination and cooking. All right, y'all. So we got our Doritos. Mm -hmm. We just going to spread these bad boys out. Then we got some black beans. And you can substitute these with another kind of beans or you don't have to use beans if you don't want to. But I'm telling y'all, with that lamb that we got cooked up, these is just perfect. And I got my oven preheated to, uh, to 325 because we just going to um pop these in and my hands are clean and that's our lamb meat y'all oh oh and these are my lamb nachos that y'all are getting to see me create today mm -hmm. this is the first time i am making them in a very long time actually Right. So the next thing we're gonna add is some cheese. Cheese. And we're gonna be generous with that cheese because we want a good old cheese pull. Bubbly. Yeah. 
And you can use any type of chips that you want anyway. I just love Doritos with this recipe. You can use anything. So we're just gonna pop this in the oven uh, for about for about five to seven minutes. Let that cheese melt. We'll see you guys when we get back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, look Ooh. at that. <laughs> nom, nom, nom. Okay, I'm not gonna put sour cream on this whole thing because we we not eating like these like right right now. But I am gonna get me. I'm gonna give me a little individual sour creamer. That's why I like this thing, is because you can just dab it up. Mm. <laughs> Y'all, I just be cooking. Oh my goodness, this is so good. You're gonna have to try this. Oh yeah, oh, I'm about to get in there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna finish this. I'm gonna see y'all next time. <laughs>